Now you know that light refracts or bends when it passes through the interface between two media, for example, the boundary between air and water. Question: How do we know how far the light bends? If we know its angle of incidence, how can we predict the angle of refraction? The answer is the fantastic formula called Snell's Law. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. This equation is very powerful and used by scientists all over the world. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. N1 and N2 are the refractive indices of the media we're interested in. Indices is the plural of index. Here's our situation. A ray of light in black hits the interface between air and water at an angle of 30 degrees to the normal line. The refractive index of air is 1, and the refractive index of water is 1.33. So, we write N1 equals 1, like this, and N2 equals 1.33 times sine theta 2. Now we need to put in the angle of incidence. Theta 1 is then 30. Just like that. This is all we need to figure out the angle of refraction. First, solve the left hand side of this equation. 1 times sine 30 comes out as exactly 0 0.5. Uh, usually you get a windy decimal here. It depends on the angle. Now, divide both sides by 1.33 to undo the multiplication on the right side, just like that. Now we just need to get rid of that sign to isolate the unknown angle. This is done by using the inverse sine function, which looks like this. On your calculator, press the shift and sin buttons to use this function. Okay. And this is equal to the unknown angle. Okay, so theta 2, after we've gone through all that algebra, comes out as 22 degrees. So I'll just write theta 2 equals 22. If you're unsure about any of the steps we've gone through, just uh, go back and play this video again. I hope you appreciate the usefulness of Snell's Law as you continue your study in waves. It tells us all sorts of things, like how lenses behave. Have a go at the next set of exercises to get familiar with this formula and the others you'll need to get those high grades. Thanks for watching.